think uh, I don't want to imply that, that, that your generation doesn't care as much. Lack of intensity doesn't mean lack of caring. I don't want any of those implications coming from me, and so I have to be aware of that kind of stuff for sure. So, I mean, I get the point of what you're making, but it, mm -hmm. it struck me as some of the, some sure. of the, differently than I think, when I was coming up, I felt like I almost, again, it's partly cultural, but respect for elders was just a given. It was just a given, you know, and, and deserved or not, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, later on when you get older, then you can start forming your own path, but meanwhile, you, you kind of toe the line. So it's a different, yeah. And I'm not saying that was the greatest either. Right. Yeah. I, th I think my parents' generation kind of jacked that up. Yeah. Okay. They just dropped the ball on so many different things. Okay. <laughs> so seriously, forget about that. They dropped the ball on some, some serious things, yeah. you know, transference of knowledge. Yeah. Even like, you know, yeah. teaching us what we need to survive in a very yeah. real way. Yeah. But we can, we can maybe come back to that. Yeah. That, that could be a can of worms. That yeah. just, but like, I think that there's a, there's also the generational gap even in, yeah in respect for oneself, honoring of one's own history, and really like staying right. on. Like I think there's a, yeah, that's a long conversation. Yeah, it <laughs> is, but I th it, it's tied in, it's tied in because one of my big challenges has been, you know, from young childhood is experiences with white males. And so one of the things I've had to do spiritually is to begin to change begin to try to alter uh, my perceptions and my preconceived notions, which has been like a journey. So when I have like say a 30 something, 20 something white male talking to me in a certain way, it triggers all those buttons when in fact it may not be racial, it may just be this sense, that sense that I was talking about is somehow really not seeing me in the way that the elder kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people to kowtow to me, but I grew up with that kind of, you know, you have that respect and you say things with respect to people that are older. And, and I have so many people that really, I don't experience that from. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's difficult because it's a different context for me. And it took me a while to figure out <laughs> To get away from the racial interpretation of that, say so, you know yeah. this isn't yeah. this isn't necessarily this is a, a racial thing. thing. Um, mm. So so that's been interesting. Uh, so it does play into the racing only from the sense that I've had to work through that part mm. when I've experienced that. So our disposable culture, right? Mm -hmm. Like we are getting used to throwing things out when they right. when they. <laughs> so what you know? So in other words, old people. Well, <laughs> no, no, I you know. Got you.